Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to show you a couple things you can copy from the forehand of Emma Raducanu in order to improve your forehand. Now, this video is courtesy of 12KGP Tennis on uh, YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. All right, first thing is the split step. Here it is. So here's the hitting partner making contact with the ball. Let's check this out. Right when he's hitting right there. Great. And look, she has not split stepped yet. In fact, her, her landing of the split step is after the opponent hits. And this is how it is every single time. Return of serve at the net. It doesn't matter. You want to land your split step after the opponent makes contact with the ball. Watch any player. I don't care. Federer, Serena, you know, Pete Sampras from 30 years ago or, 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 you know, the, the, the next up and coming player now. This is the timing of the split step because it synchronizes your brain and your reaction time with when your feet hit the ground, right? You don't want to be landing as your opponent hits. You want to land after they hit. That way, when your brain recognizes where to go, that's when your feet are hitting the ground and you can kind of bounce into position, almost like you're landing on trampolines. So don't land as your opponent hits. Land just after they hit. That is the proper timing. Watch any player in any situation. That's when they're going to time the split step. The next idea is look at this turn. This actually reminds me of Diego Schwartzman, where the tip of the racket is higher than her head. And you can see the racket is on edge, by the way, by the time the ball bounces. But this is what reminds me of Agassi and Diego Schwartzman, how the racket is high but closed. So this would be vertical. This would be the racket straight up and down. But her racket face is slightly closed. Absolutely love this. Helps keep the racket more on the hitting side of the body, something we're going to talk about in a second. But it actually, by closing the racket face, it can help you get topspin. Right? You, I, I don't want you to be in this position where the strings are facing up. I know Rafael Nadal does that, but, but he then closes the racket face. Where most recreational players who have an open racket face in this situation, they don't close the racket face. So I'd rather you copy someone's swing that's going to make it easier for you to have success. And when you take the racket back with both hands, you can see she's setting the racket high with both hands. Her, her left hand is across. Absolutely love this look. Very much like Azarenka, that arm across. And then here is that on-edge position. On-edge meaning all we can see is the edge of her racket and the racket face closed. Look at this when you film yourself. Check to see that you're in the air as your opponent hits, so you're landing just after they hit. Set the racket with both hands. If you're right-handed, put both hands on your right side. Lefty, it's the opposite. But get your strings to be slightly closed at this point. Absolutely love this position, position for recreational players to improve their technique. Now, here's the next idea. Don't break the plane with your racket, meaning that line is kind of dividing her in half. This is the left side of her body. This is the right side of her body. You want to have the racket stay on the hitting side of the body in most cases. So watch, she's going to keep her racket on the hitting side and she's not going to take it over to the other side of the body. I absolutely love this technique. Watch her racket. Watch how it does not cross that line. It touches the line, but it does not cross it. So she is not breaking the plane and having her swing be too large. This allows you to handle pace and depth and both, right? Depth and pace. This allows you to have a smaller swing, still making a loop swing for power, but a swing that is not too big. Film yourself. See if your racket is going too far back. A swing that is this big doesn't give you any more power than a swing that is this big. There comes a point where it's like diminishing returns that you don't just get... A more power just because your swing is bigger. And all it does is it forces you to stand farther back, you're, you know, to, to, to accommodate how long it takes for you to swing. So please have a swing that stays more on the hitting side of your body. You can see your racket face closes here. Absolutely love this. I made a video on uh, uh, Sasha Zverev with the racket face closing like this. Now, she's not using a lag forehand, but that's fine. She's not really lagging, you know, the way you would see uh, a, a Nick Kyrgios or a Roger Federer. But you can see the tremendous amount of closure that she has prior to hitting the ball. And what does that do? It gives her a square racket face at contact. Her strings are facing forward as she swings up, putting topspin on the ball. These are really simple things, by the way, that you can copy. Just film yourself. Check to see that you're doing this. As your opponent hits the ball, be in the air. So jump, be in the air as they hit, so you land just after. And then you'll immediately start preparing your racket. Set the racket when you prepare it with both hands. 
and and get both arms over to your right. This is almost like um you know giving somebody two high fives. Like you're reaching over. Let, let, let's do this. I'm going to draw someone uh, here. Here's someone with uh, reaching out, and they're she's kind of like giving them two high fives, right? So you want to give somebody two high fives. Set the racket with the tip of the racket higher than your head. And you can see that tip of the racket is higher than her head with her racket face slightly closed. She drops the racket, but keeps the racket more on the hitting side of her body, closes the racket face, and then brushes up for topspin. You copy these ideas, and there is no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.